can wonder if be followed by a subjunctive clause only. In the book, Clash of Kings, by George R. R. Martin, I've noticed the use of the subjunctive mood after wonder if. In truth, he had scarcely considered the madman at all, beyond eyeing Mira once or twice and wondering if she was still a maiden. And again, later in the book, he listened to the blasphemies and wondered if he were dying. My non-native grammatical intuition makes me think this sounds really wrong. I would say he wondered whether he was dying and therefore also he wondered if he was dying. I would be tempted not to use the subjunctive with n if that can be replaced by whether and to only use the subjunctive with n if that actually has a conditional value. For instance, he wondered if he were dying why he was feeling so alive. Also, I believe that using Martin's structure in the present tense may sound even more wrong. He wonders if he be dying, present subjunctive. So, am I right, or is it correct to use only a subjunctive clause after wonder if? It is correct to use the subjunctive here, and not all that uncommon. Many native speakers would also use was. It depends somewhat on personal, regional, and stylistic factors. In speech or ordinary writing, generally either sounds natural. I suppose some might find the subjunctive to sound odd or old-fashioned, or the indicative to sound inelegant or uneducated. If you want to use what native speakers would consider the most strictly correct, as in the context of a grammar test, then it might be a safer bet to use the subjunctive. Incidentally, the past subjunctive can also be used with weather in similar circumstances, hat tip to trist in comments. Here's a Google Ngram chart for wonder if she were and wonder if he were. If you look through the citations, you can find examples of these phrases being used by other English writers in comparable contexts to the one cited in the question. As shown by Google Books. Wondering if she were still about 25,800 results. This is a well-established use of the subjunctive, and still in use. The reason for its existence lies in the on-the-fly introduction and supportive doubts as to the reality of the situation slash assumption, in concert with wondering and emphasizing it, something that could be rendered correctly only in more verbose phrasings, also pertaining to subjunctive mood and nature. Wondering if she might still be a maiden. Certainly with slash can be slash is slash used instead, but this effect of slash emphasizing slash raising to power slash the wonderment goes out the window, and you have at work what I, at least, would call mentally flatter writing, smiley face. About 25,800 results. I agree with both you and Martin, more or less. The quoted examples seem fine, to me, but then they are also fine if changed to the indicative. But more importantly, and why I decided to write an answer, I think you're onto something interesting here when you note. Also, I believe that using Martin's structure in the present tense may sound even more wrong, eh he wonders if he be dying, present subjunctive. This example in the present tense is really bad in current English, and I find all Martin's examples unacceptable if they are changed to the present tense. If you want support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.